How to raise your vibration fast. What does raising your vibration actually look like? And what will you feel when you raise your vibration? Welcome to the lindyyoga.com podcast. There is a secret to raising your vibration that most people don't know about. And you don't have to spend years or thousands of dollars in therapy to do it. To begin with, you need to understand that your energy is not the same thing as your thoughts. They are actually two separate things. Your thoughts are created by you, but your energy is something that happens to you, and it has a way of creating the reality around you. And it's not the same thing for everyone. For instance, I can tell you what you are thinking right now. But I can't tell you what your energy is. Your energy can be positive or negative, and it has a way of changing. The reason why you cannot see the energy is because you are constantly interacting with it through your thoughts, and it is almost impossible to see something that is always moving. So if you are asking yourself how to raise your vibration, you are really asking about how to change your thoughts into something different. Because your thoughts will eventually affect your energy, and the vibration of your thoughts is what creates your reality. It's almost impossible to change your thoughts, which is why you need to change your energy first. That's why it's important to learn how to manifest things. By the end of this article, you will know how to raise your vibration to a higher level. And while there are lots of different ways to raise your vibration, I will show you one way to do it that doesn't require a lot of money or any changes in your lifestyle. The key is to focus on what you want to manifest in your life, and then change your thoughts and your vibration to match the same. If you want to raise your vibration, you will have to do two things. The first thing is to focus on what you want to manifest. And the second thing is to change your thoughts. But this isn't just a way to raise your vibration. This is a way to manifest whatever you want into your life. Let's say that you want to start a new business. That means that you have to first figure out what your business idea is. When you do that, you have to make sure that you know what type of person you are. Because when you know who you are, it makes it easier to start a business that aligns with your values. Once you know who you are, you need to figure out what type of person you want to be. And you do this by figuring out what kind of lifestyle you want to have. You can also figure out what type of energy you want to have by going into deep meditation and figuring out your purpose. After you do that, you need to figure out how you want to live. What do you want to do with your time? Where do you want to live? Once you figure that out, you need to change your thoughts to match your lifestyle. For example, if you want to travel around the world, then you need to start thinking and talking about how you will go to all these places. You can start focusing on your trips, and you can start looking at places that you would like to go to. And the more that you think about your How to raise your spiritual vibration In order to manifest what you want in life, you must raise your vibrational level. I'm going to teach you about raising your spiritual vibration so that you can manifest the things you want in life. The first thing you need to know is that energy is a vibrational frequency. We create our reality through our thoughts. Everything in the universe is comprised of energy and is made up of a different vibrational frequency. Everything from the smallest particle of matter to the biggest galaxy is vibrating. We're talking about the quantum field, which is just a fancy word for energy. Every single atom in the universe is made up of particles that have their own unique frequency. The higher your energy frequency, the higher the quality of your thoughts will be. When we speak about raising our vibration, we're talking about raising our conscious awareness. This is the same thing as becoming aware. You become more conscious when you have a deeper understanding of what is happening around you. When you begin to understand what is happening in your life, you will begin to change it. You'll begin to change your life by changing your thoughts. When you change your thoughts, you are creating a new reality. This means that you can raise your vibrations to manifest a new reality. How to raise your vibration for manifestation The first step is to raise your vibration to a more positive thought. This is where you start thinking positively. It's also where you stop dwelling on negative thoughts. The second step is to raise your vibration to a more elevated emotion. When you feel angry or depressed, 
your mind is vibrating at a low level. If you think about the emotions of anger or depression, you will be able to raise your vibration to a higher level. So if you feel negative emotions, think about positive ones instead. The third step is to raise your vibration to an elevated state of being. What does this mean? When you're in a state of being, your vibration is raised to the highest level possible. If you're in a state of being, your consciousness is at a higher level. This is why it's so important to live in a state of being. And the fourth step is to raise your vibration to the highest level of being. This is where you reach a state of bliss. A state of bliss is where you experience the highest levels of ecstasy, love, and joy. If you're in a state of bliss, you are no longer thinking. You are no longer having any thoughts. Your mind is no longer taking you away from being in a state of being. So if you are having thoughts, you are not being in a state of being. How to raise your vibration for manifestation? Once you begin to raise your vibration, you will notice a dramatic shift in your thoughts. Before you know it, you'll be thinking positively. And once you're thinking positively, you are creating positive thoughts. Your mind will then be more focused on positivity. Your thoughts will be more elevated. So once you start thinking positively, you will be creating more positive thoughts. As your thoughts continue to be elevated, you will feel more and more of being in a vibrational state. What is a vibrational state? In physics, the concept of vibration has to do with energy. If you have ever seen a tuning fork, you've probably noticed that they vibrate when they are being hit. When they stop vibrating, it's as if the energy stops flowing. This is exactly what is happening inside our bodies. When we feel good, we are in a high-frequency state. When we feel bad, we are in a low-frequency state. The key is that when we are feeling good, we are energetically high, while when we are feeling bad, we are energetically low. This is why we get angry, depressed, anxious, or any other negative emotions. We are at an energetic low because we are out of alignment with our higher self. When we get out of alignment, we begin to experience low levels of energy. Our body doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know how to handle these emotions, so it gets frustrated. When we start to vibrate at a lower frequency, the body begins to lose energy. We get fatigued, and we need to rest, because our body is no longer functioning at its highest level. When this happens, we begin to think about how we could make things better. We start to think about what we can do to change our circumstances. We want to become happy, so we start to manifest happiness. We want to lose weight, so we start to manifest health and energy. We want to manifest love and abundance. This is why we manifest all the things we want in life. Read the full article on www.lindyyoga.com and find out what does it mean to raise your vibration?